Discovery Lodge. It's very quaint and simple in here, but it's nice. It's clean, which is what we're always looking for. Um, two double beds. You can see we already have all of our junk on one. Um, we have a TV that the cable box does not work. <laughs> Maybe we're just doing something wrong. I don't know. But it's small. We like it. It's really like, like the, it's not tall in here either. Like the height is. I don't know. Bathroom. The tub and the toilet are like old fashioned colors. They still look clean though. Yeah. And then we have a nice view. And they have recycling here. You don't really see that in a lot of places. <clears throat> so we have a playground, grill, horseshoes, little swings. We have a fire pit over there, which is nice. And we have a pond. And there's elk on the other side of that fence that just roam around here freely. Yep. One guy just came walking straight through the property. Got him on film earlier. Nice place though, it's cozy. It is. It's, it, and, and you know, I've been saying that this kind of feels like a KOA in the sense of like there's horseshoes out there we just played and there's games. And you're actually kind of encouraged to walk around the property, whereas other hotels, like you kind of just, it feels, you just kind of stay to yourself in your room. Yeah, I like it here. It's a nice vibe, literally like in the center of Estes Park, it seems like too. And we're only nine minutes away from the visitor center. From the visitor center. All right, even though we are living in the lap of luxury tonight, we are still eating our travel food to save money and be frugal and tonight we are trying one we have not tried yet the classic spaghetti with meat sauce so after that i think as far as lunch and dinner meals there's only one left we haven't tried two no we still yeah one that we haven't tried yes there's one left that we haven't tried and then one breakfast one that we haven't tried and then We'll be back on the loop. It, it happened so quickly. It did. It did. Day four. Um, we're heading to the Rocky Mountain National Park today. It's about nine minutes from our hotel. Um, since we're staying in a lodge, I just got back in the car to do this video to keep with consistency. I'm about to grab some breakfast out the car and bring it in. And um, our little air humidifier because it is dry out here. So our chosen route for this 24 hour adventure at Rocky Mountain National Park is the Emerald Lake hike. Now with that hike, you will get to pass three lakes, technically, but at the beginning of this trailhead, there's a split off that will allow you to take a quick detour to Bear Lake, which is beautiful. So for the first thing you see when you get out of your car, you can't go wrong with that. Packing up. This is what I came prepared for. I didn't come really prepared with snacks on the road. With the driving snacks. But when it comes to the hiking snacks, 100% prepared. Right. I don't know what I'm going to bring. I'm going to go first things first, a little bar here, a special K strawberry bar. We don't just set the bar. We are the bar. Salted peanuts. Different flavors. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> I have Nature Valley, the biscuit peanut butters. <laughs> it's so bright. Yeah, you gotta wait a second. <laughs> I bring a little tricks bar. I think these were actually pretty good. They taste like tricks. 
snap into a slim gym. Those probably also green. Frozen these, Slim Jim. I think these grips are pretty good. Look, this one's Graham Crackers. I like Graham Crackers. It's Graham's Crackers. <laughs> That's weird. We are good to go. go. We're going to stop in the visitor center real quick, get our stamps. I'm so excited to get this first stamp of the trip. I feel like I haven't gotten a stamp in so long. No. Even though we were in Cuyahoga Valley not too long ago, when it comes to like, like the big gangster parks, that's what I call them. You know, yeah, those stamps feel different. We have one of the big gangster parks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, goodbye. The total mileage for this hike is 4.1 miles round trip. The elevation gain is 744 feet, and this hike is described as rugged, and it is on the moderate scale of hikes. Have you ever had any doubt about what park rangers really do? Now, if you are an avid hiker and you do this regularly, this should be an easy hike for you. If you are out of shape or you are not used to the elevation, it'll be a little bit tougher for you guys at the beginning of this hike. If you take this trail, what trail are we on? Bear Lake. Alright, so if you go to Bear Lake, there's a split off. If you take the split off towards Bear Lake, it's going to say like 252 feet. But then if you go to the left and follow that trail, you can pass three different lakes. This is the first of them, so you hit the other. So, all these trees walking through here, it just smells like Christmas trees, which is kind of cool because they have, like at the visitor center saying, it's the winter wonderland up here. So you have the Christmas tree smell, and then all of the snow on the ground, and on the mountain like caps. It's super pretty and super cool. It's even getting a Grinch like me in the holiday spirit. Right, you don't like the holiday spirit. <laughs> In the Bear Lake Loop, there's a lot of these little step-offs that you can step into and get really good pictures. There's also these little benches everywhere up here. And it, obviously, you know, it's to be photo friendly for people to take pictures and stuff, take breaks. Um, it'll take you a second if you don't live up here to adjust to the altitude. But would you look at that? The three lakes you will pass are Crystal Lake, Dream Lake, and the final one is obviously Emerald Lake. Our personal favorite was Dream Lake, but Emerald Lake is a great way to end your hike. about Dream Lake is that you really, for one, it looks way bigger on the other end, on yeah. this end. It, it does look way I bigger from this side. I did not realize it was this long. Yeah. But it's also nice, we have this nice path right along the lake as well. It's really pretty here. Definitely our favorite lake so far. Trail pal Ranger Kevil here again, reminding you that when nature calls, you gotta answer. Sometimes you gotta find your answers behind a rock. <laughs> Thank you. 
With all that being said, and all that being done, I hope that you enjoyed this video. As much as I enjoyed my little lunch, staring here into this bowl that we called Emerald Lake at Rocky Mountain National Park. And I hope it serves as a reminder that you, like me, are unremarkable.